Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Orchard Farm. My name is Rainbow Day, and uh, this is your first look, I guess. Got no mods installed at the moment. Uh, this is Orchard Farm by Dusty Dave. This is a new map. Well, I say new. It's been brought forward from FS11, 13, and 15. And you start off with a pickup, so I'm quite happy already. Uh, this here, just to the left where you start. That is where you start, by the way. I didn't move from spawning in. Just to the right of where you start is the main farm. You get big storage sheds, a nice sized uh, tipper, fertilizer and seed points side by side, which kind of makes sense. A nice big grain dump there. Decent sized combine. We'll get to the field shapes and sizes in a bit. Plenty of storage room here. App Whoa, tons of storage room. This is my first look at the map myself, and yeah, there's almost excessive storage room. And of course, the central grain storage. Um, field shapes and sizes, we got, what, tw 36 fields. And you can see a lot of them are kind of squarish. But they're, I would say, reasonably realistic for the UK and, and or Ireland. This is a UK-based map. Um, I'd say they're reasonably realistic. There's no, you know, flat squares. They've all got kind of cutouts and cut-ins and bits missing. Um, 33, 34. Well, 34 is the square wrist field from what I'm seeing, and that's still kind of like, oh, well, there's a big, you know, it's, it's an offset square. Even the corners are kind of rounded out. Um, you can see over to my right, there's windmills or wind turbines. Uh, I should point out the hedges have no collisions. There's wind turbines. You're gonna need the map here. And uh, do I have my filter set up correctly? I do not. There we go. Because I want to show you guys. The chickens are at the main farm. Over here, you're headed towards the pigs. You do start off with... Oh, it's corn in field 14. Uh, there's a lot of grass <laughs> fields if you haven't already noticed. Um, the majority of the map is grass fields, which may or may not be a hindrance to you, but they're all giant spec grass, FS17 spec grass, which means you can basically cultivate them immediately if you really, really want to and you hate grass. Um, and on Penberlin, or Penberlin, however it's pronounced, um, I was forced to plow the fields myself, because I wanted to get giant specs, giant spec grass in them completely skip the gate there. Here uh, is the sheep area, which, um, it's quite small, but I guess, you know, with sheep all you really need is water, and did I just hit something there, or did I do something stupid? Did something stupid. Um, all you really need is water and grass, so you don't need a big area. Some storage there as well. Um, I believe... This time I won't skip the gate. I believe the gates are there. Dorset's gates, yeah. So you walk up to it and you click and it should open inwards. Fantastic. And there's a nice kind of rusty gate kind of sound going on. Lovely. Um, there is something funky going on in that corner there for some reason on the PDA map. Hmm. Don't know what that is, but there's something not quite right there. Let's get head down to the orchard dairy, which will house the pigs and the cows. Pigs obviously having to be retrofitted into the map because they, they weren't in FS11. So this right here will be the pig area. Again, not the biggest, but you don't particularly need a massive area. you got a light switch here that's conveniently labeled lights. You click it, and the lights come on. In most of the shed that I guess it makes sense that the lights are kind of down the middle. Um, although, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. I keep... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to... Does that have a... That is not a trigger, okay. Some maps have that trailer there as being a water trigger. This does not, which is perfectly fine. I uh, wonder does it have this today's thing where he puts the water um, things in. So you start off as, ooh, that's a bit different. Um, 
There should be a light switch over here somewhere. I presume to turn on the lights here. Either that or they're day-night based. I guess they're day-night based. But this shit is incredibly dark. Wow. Start off with front and rear mowers and a baler. A round baler, which uh, could be fun. <laughs> round bales tend to be a bit fun. But again, plenty of storage. Even more fertilizer and seeds over here. A fuel point and a... Uh, is that a Fent? That's relatively unusual at starter equipment, a Fent 300. Um, with a front loader and bale spikes up beside it. Very nice indeed. Again, plenty of storage. No shortage of storage. And yep, I've just spotted one of the water fill points. So that turns on the lights for those sheds. Okay. This is where you'll be getting water on the map. Um, these kind of places here with the the fire hydrants effectively that's where the water is going to be there's probably one up by the, the sheep there's probably one over by the pigs dusty dave likes putting the um i've noticed this from him he likes putting the water fill points really close to the animals but hiding them in such a way that it, they're kind of difficult to find at times here's your cow area they are silage bunkers right there indoor silage bunkers um and i have been told by dave that the cows you gotta go into that shed to muck them out. The muck, the manure does not immediately go into this place here. And, oh, he's moved that away from... Oh, I can't do... Mm -hmm. I'm Pemberton, there was a hole in the cow shed that conveniently was right above the manure pit. So, um, I started mucking the cows out through the hole in the shed uh, with a conveyor belt. Which, he's changed that now, which is kind of annoying. Is this... That's the bulk storage for milk. I like that. I like that a lot. And an old muck spreader there. So, you do have to muck out the cows. You can get as many or as few cows as you like. There's a nice cow pasture. He has actually made this giant's grass to appease me, I believe. Yes, he has. Oh my god, Dave, you lunatic. Um, he, he made that giant's grass to appease me, apparently. That's what he was saying last night, at least. I, I yeah... Um, but two decent sized silage pits here, I presume if you fill one up you'll have more than enough for the cows forever. Of course another light switch in there. Um, this is a map that doesn't run short on storage, I'm gonna be honest. There is a billboard somewhere as well that uh, I'd like to be able to show off in this video. I might, I might record another bit later on. When I find the billboard. Uh, where are the cell points? Smithix Pub, Orchard Grain, Orchard BGA. Let's go over and try and find the BGA. Uh, I will say that the... Mugiel is kind of interacting with the steering at the moment. There we go. The um, roadways have been increased in size from what they used to be. Dave has widened the road slightly, so it's not impossible to get around. You got a kind of an auxiliary yard with a fent that looks to be a 700. Nice 6 meter cedar, 3 meter cultivator, and some fuel there, and even more storage. For the people who have 60, tri 60 trillion um, things going on. Over here, you have the cow, uh, not the cow stables, the horse stables. This is your bale cell point. You have to bring the uh, your bales over to the local horse stables. You can sell them off there, the straw and the the hay. And I'm sure they'll be appreciative of it. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going to the stores first. That's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. I've just taken a wrong turn. And now I'm getting a bit lost. So the stores are there, but I gotta go... How do you get to the shop from here? Hmm. I would guess you actually need to go up this road and around the back of field 3, maybe? No? Oh, you gotta go... I'm not entirely sure how to get to the shop. But it does look like I've taken a wrong turn somewhere, but 
pub is just over here. Right beside the church. So, I mean, uh, very convenient for weddings. Probably also very convenient for funerals, actually. Drown your sorrows. Nice car park at the church. That is a nice car park, actually. A shell service station with a nice red phone box. It's your egg cell point there. The pub here, Smithix Pub, which I don't know, Dave, if you know this. Smithix is actually an alcohol brand, not like somebody's name. It's a pale, it's an ale. One of my favorite ales, actually. Um, I do quite like a pint of Smithix. But it's not just the name of the pub. <laughs> <laughs> or it usually isn't. This road oh goes on unmarked through the town, which has some lovely yards and gardens. Uh, what is this? The, oh, this is the placeables area. Dave said he was doing this. There is a relatively small placeables area for any placeables you want to put into the map. For those days where you feel like doing pig feed but can't be bothered mixing it yourself so you get the pig feed mixer or the cow feed mixer over here you have kind of unmarked which is a bit odd um, a, oh I thought that was an invisible collision nope it was me being blind you have the um, forestry cell point so you get your log cell point here and your wood chip cell point there going into the 15 spec uh, biomass heating plant. Uh, where am I going next? I'm genuinely discovering this map as I go. Okay, so I came from that side, so I'm going out this side. And there's the roundabout with giant cow. Apparently that's... I've been told that is a uh, noted feature of the map. There used to be, I believe, like an overpass somewhere on the map. And, uh... Somebody's put their own logo on the map on a billboard. Right beside the BGA, so silage fans, you'll be seeing a lot of this. Uh, <laughs> that is a... Good lord, that is a stonking great silo. Um, oh, and there's two of them. Okay, so, yeah, you'll... Dave knows what people are going to do. Is that not level? That's not level, I'll have to have a word with Dave about that. The issue with silage pits is sometimes if they're not level, they'll they'll go on a wonk and decide to do their own things. Um, so let's see if I can find my way up to the shop from here. So it looks like there's actually a way up from this roundabout. Potentially. Yes. So to get to the shop, you have to go down to the very bottom of the map, pretty much. And... Uh, Go straight through the roundabout. That's interesting. There's another cornfield there, field 29. Should mention you start off with fields, what, 4, 6, 7, 10, 13, 14, 16, 17, 26, and 30. So a reasonable range of fields, um, just to get you started. Uh, two of them look to be in wheat. One is in corn, but I didn't see any corn plant or corn harvesters. Uh, 26 there you can see is freshly ploughed. Which is a bit odd. Um, four looks to be in canola. And the rest are grass fields. So this is the main grain cell point, I guess. And the spinnery over here. So you're, you're going to have a long cart ahead of you if you're doing a lot of sheep. Also, the collisions on that seem a bit weird. That's the main grain cell point. That's orchard grain. The spinnery is in there. So, be prepared to sell a lot of wool. And Morgan's Massive Motors is the main shop here, which kind of might look a bit out of place, but I don't know if it actually does. Looks a bit kind of... You know, it's a new building. It doesn't actually look too far out of place here. Um, taken, of course, from Goldcrest Valley. Um, and, of course, you got your buy and sell triggers and all that kind of good stuff. What do I think of the map? Oh, I want to actually... I'm going to cut through a few fields here, so apologies. I want to actually have a look at the forestry area, because that's something I don't usually look at in maps, and I'll have a look here. 
Um, it's just up north of field 6 if you look at the map. So we cut through field 4 here and jump the uh, pickup. More storage here by the way. Nice big shed with uh, openable doors. Just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So the forestry area is over here. I should note at this point that uh, Davis said he likes having his maps in testing with YouTubers and things like that for about a month before they come out. So it's going to be about a month before um, you guys get this. There's wood chip storage here, which... Is there a trigger? Oh, good lord, Dave, you've put a trigger on it? Has he put a central storage for wood chips up here? That'd be pretty cool. But as you can see, it's mainly dirt up here. Nice, decent sized area for stacking your wood and all that kind of stuff. Especially in that shed. And uh, plenty of logs. So there's a bit of everything you can do on this map. You can, you know, you look at it and you think, okay, well, we'll start off with some grain, maybe move into cows and pigs. Um, I've heard, uh, there's a few of us that have the map and we were talking on TeamSpeak last night. And uh, Mark DuPont said, do you know what, this is a map that really says pigs to me. So, you know, maybe you want to go to pigs, maybe you want to go to cows, maybe you want to just go straight into sheep. Because that's probably the easiest animal to get into in this map, is sheep, just because of the amount of grass you get. Um, definitely a big silage map as well. For those of you who love silage, this is probably a map for you. Because you can plant every field and grass and just do massive silage sessions constantly. Um, I will be playing on this map, but it'll be something different. I will say that. It's going to be something completely different to anything I've done. Um, in a broad sense. In a very narrow sense, it's going to be a roleplay. Um, going to be completely different. It's going to be once a week. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. This is... Dave has planned for this to be on PC and console. I should point out. Um, and there are a few errors currently that he's working on fixing and there's stuff like that, so I haven't got into the log and stuff. Um... But I think he's done a... <laughs> he's actually done a really good job. Um, I like the map. Uh, spoken to... Landy, he doesn't... He's not particularly impressed, but he's kind of a bit... His taste in maps is slightly different to mine. It's gonna be a map that you'll either really like or really dislike, I think. But Dave's intention is to have this on PC and on consoles. Penberlin was kind of his... Um, his first attempt, and much like Channington with Oxygen David, it didn't go to plan, but every map maker has their first attempt and it doesn't always go to plan. Um, this will be coming relatively soon to a definitely at least a PC near you. Consoles, maybe, maybe not. Um, so I will leave it at that. I will leave it by saying, I don't know, but if you've been watching Farming Simulator 17, on Orchard Farm 17. You've been watching your first look. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.